Hey fam, welcome back to another video. I'm your girl Edvig and this is part two of how I found out that I was a side chick, you know. Um, if you are new here, thank you so much for watching. And if you like the content, please subscribe. But then if you are a returning subscriber, thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much. I appreciate you so, so much. And yeah, please drop a comment if you like the video. If I need some improvement, please drop the comment. Um, in my previous video, there are just some things that I want to highlight. In my previous video, I just want to apologize for the noise, the disturbance um, in the background. And um, so many people actually came to me about it and said um, next time I should at least reduce the, the noise around me and stuff. Because you know sometimes people cannot really concentrate when um concentrate when there's noise you know so i'm definitely taking that into consideration and hopefully this time there will be no disturbances and if there are any disturbances i really really apologize for that it was clearly not it was clearly just out of my hands you know but yeah definitely definitely um thank you so so much for the comments from the previous video i really enjoyed interacting with you guys and yeah let's get into this video i'm having my coke coca-cola guys coca-cola i'm addicted to this thing okay so where do we start um in my previous video i already talked about i already went through the whole the girl situation and everything else so in this video i said i'm only going to talk about um how i ended up forgiving him after so many um after so many struggles or whatever so many girls so many cheating situations and all that how i ended up forgiving him is what we are going to talk about and the second one is um when exactly i actually decided to choose myself when i exactly i decided to say you know what i don't want this anymore i don't want it anymore i am definitely choosing myself and yeah we can go our separate ways okay first thing first ne? The one person that was mostly dominating in our relationship ne, was this the one girl from the Esther girl, you know, from Hopabas. That was the one girl that was dominating in our relationship. And I think she was dominating because obviously she was the first girlfriend and I was just a side chick and she didn't know about me, but somehow I found out about her, which was not supposed to happen like that. But me being me, boss, I'm a whole investigator. <laughs> so yeah. Um how i ended up forget forgiving this guy after all of these things you know um he um there was a time where we had an argument a disagreement about the same girl right and um he decides he's texting a friend of his he texted a friend of his he said hi bro um my girlfriend found out that i'm cheating and the friend asks like which one is it Edvig or Esther and then the the guy that I was dating at the time was like no it's Edvig right and then um, he sends a really long recording and then he's like no I need you to do me a favor um, I'm, you are going to pretend to be Esther and you are going to text me like this just pretend like you are the girlfriend and what 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 so what this guy did is this guy that i was dating mr x what he did was you know how you save your your friend's names ne? he decided he's changing his friend's name his male friend's name from his real name to esther's name so that they can now play out the whole game thing so he saved he resaved the guy's name as esther and then they started having a conversation pretending um pretending to um to be the girl so what this guy texts is like hi babe um there is someone texting me this number and then they put my number there and they're like and they're saying that it's your girlfriend and all those things 
and the guy's like yeah no that's my girlfriend's number i don't know why she's texting you and all of that so like that whole conversation that the guy that i was dating at the time had with his friend that he changed the name to esther he took a screenshot of the conversation and then he sent it to me so now i'm reading and the name obviously on top of the shaniki it says esther so i'm like okay he definitely spoke to her and he told her that i'm his girl so yeah there's nothing to be mad about you know that is how i ended up forgiving him because i mean there was proof guys how dumb was i <laughs> and i bet ne, there was probably the name and the cell phone number but i didn't pay attention to the cell phone number i just paid attention to the name so i didn't really bother to like compare the numbers i just read the name esther and i'm like okay cool he spoke to the girl <laughs> okay cool i forgave him for that but also how did i find out how did i find out that um this is what went down like he changed his friend's name to esther and whatever how did i find out into our relationship i don't know how many months right into our relationship um there was a time he um he was complaining about how much i don't trust him and all that and he's like no i'm gonna bring um my phone and my pc to you i think that time he was coming from school yeah he was coming from school i think because he usually sleeps at school sometimes because yo mambo ka italian ami bro and then he's like no um since you don't trust me i'm gonna bring my phone and my pc to you and you're gonna stay with it for a whole week you're going to answer all the phone calls all the text messages that are coming in and me being me i said bring it on boss bring it on you know hey guys guys let's leave these people's phones do not touch that person's phone if you don't want to disappoint yourself unless you guys are really really that comfortable and you know kucha there's no way he's gonna do that to you then fine but if you have doubts if you want doubts and you want to end the relationship please go ahead and go through the person's phone but if you have doubts and you want to continue your relationship and you go through your boyfriend's phone girl just know that that relationship is ending definitely ending okay and then um he brings his phone and his pc right it was doch night time i think it was around about 7 p.m 8 p.m i'm not so sure he goes back home and when he went when he reached home he texted me with his cousin's number he's like no i'm home i'm like okay cool you know i'm like i'm sitting on my bed ne, in the room and i'm contemplating as to whether i should go through this phone or not and in my head i'm like i want to know the truth but then at the same time i'm like i don't want to get hurt you know because this guy already made me go through so much you know how much more can i really take from this person but then i told myself i'm like you know what um it's okay um if it ends then it ends at least you know the truth and you know you are not the problem right so he um i go through the phone and i was looking for just one specific girl I was looking for one specific girl's name and I think he deleted that. He deleted the conversation between him and Esther. So he just brought the phone and other conversations were there, but there were other text messages from other girls, you know. The I love yous were exchanged, the I like yous were exchanged and all those things. And then I went on to WhatsApp. Because I thought, okay, offline the text messages are not there. Let me try WhatsApp. Because I also had his, um, his, his what? His password for WhatsApp. I go on WhatsApp and that is where I find the conversation between him and his friend. I clicked that chat and I listened to the audio and I read the text messages that were exchanged. And they were exactly the same, bra, like exactly the same ones that were screenshot and sent to me. And then I I think that same night I called I texted him and I'm like I texted him on his cousin's number I'm like dude come get your phone He's like no it's already late he can't come and get the phone and what what what, what. I'm like tomorrow morning come and get your phone So then tomorrow comes and he comes and gets his phone I don't know I think somehow this guy wanted to know wanted me to know that he either doesn't want the relationship anymore 
and he didn't know how to say it or he just really enjoyed hurting me i don't know which which one is which you know okay cool that happened he came to get his phone he's like no what did you find i'm like no you already know what was in your phone you know um so yeah but somehow i still ended up forgiving him even after that I don't know how I ended up forgiving me, forgiving him after I found out that the whole conversation um, exchange thing, you know. So, yeah, I still ended up forgiving him for that and stuff. And like honestly, guys, nay, it's not easy. It was the most painful experience that I had with this guy, and I don't, I don't, I never really thought I would ever find love again. I I'm if anybody knows me I'm a love freak I believe in love and I know true love exists somewhere out there you know so I'm totally a love freak and people know that when I love I love so dearly so when this guy was doing all of this to me somehow I felt like maybe I'm the problem maybe I'm the one at fault you know so I started blaming myself and all that and that's when I noticed that this is too toxic it is really too toxic I remember there was a time we went on a break. Um, we went on a break. I think it was around 2809 when 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 who? when the dog had that show at uh, at Yunam. I think around that time we were we were on a break, and no, we argued about something, and then I switched off my phone, and then I went to the show. Um. At the show, I was I, I met someone, you know, and we were dancing, you know, really feeling each other and stuff. So, um, I don't know how he found out that there was a person at the show that I was dancing with or something. Yeah, that became a problem, guys. It became a problem until to a point where we had to take a break. I took a break from this guy. And I think during this break, he thought maybe I would be cheating on him. So there was a time he was going through my phone, and he found con I think he found conversations between me and this guy. But there was nothing suspicious or anything, you know. You know, sometimes the guy is texting you like he's flirting with you, but the way you are responding is not in a flirty way. I'm that type of girl. I'm not gonna flirt with you. I'm not interested in you, bra. Okay, cool. I ended up forgiving him with the we went through the break and stuff like there was even a point in this relationship ne? it was it started when this relationship started 2019 ended 2020 in one year ne? and I experienced all of this there was a time I went so low as to ask for this guy to have an open relationship because I just felt like maybe maybe he needs to experience somebody else that is not just me you know he needs to really find his way get over his cheating ways and finally when he realizes that he's uh, he wants me then he can always come back home because i you know how girls are like no yeah he can go cheat but he will always come back home i think at that time that i had that mentality at that time so when i asked for that um for that um open relationship thing he went nuts he went nuts because he thought maybe there's somebody that I'm interested in and that I want to be doing but I don't want it to come out as I didn't want it maybe to come out as me cheating but at the time there was really nobody that I was interested in because if there was really somebody that I was interested in I would have dumped this guy like a long time ago okay cool he's like no I'm like what do you mean no it's either you stop the cheating or we go for an open relationship he's like no we are not doing an open relationship and thinking back me just the thought that i went so low as to ask for an open relationship guys i f like thinking back really it's so disappointing i'm very disappointed in myself really really disappointed in myself because i feel like I, okay at the time really even my confidence was so low my self-esteem was so low and i was so slender you know i was just not at my best um it was just not my best time at all time um so yeah but the time that i finally said i don't want anymore was when i think 2020 around february he started posting this certain girl on his on his um status whatsapp and they had matching outfits 
and they were on coffee dates and all of this i think when i saw that that's when i really realized that you know what um this guy is not gonna change he's never gonna stop you know so then i i texted him i remember i went through his ig because i know he 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 he, he what he always um he always takes pictures on his i i mean he always uh, saves his 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 pictures on his gmail google account i mean so there was a time i went on his a google account i'm looking for pictures and i see pictures of him making out with a girl like you know it's so different when you see a conversation between the two people but like when you see the thing happening life life that's when you actually realize that yo this is actually happening like it's actually happening it's not just text messages they are actually physically involved also you know okay cool um but like let's get to the point where i said by like i def i chose myself um there was this particular girl eh? when i saw when i sent him when i went on his gmail account and looked for this girl's name and i sent him a screenshot of the converse of the cell phone number of this girl and i said it's either you tell me who this girl is to you or i'm gonna text her myself that guy yo it, it probably took him like 30 minutes to get to my place he got to my place and he's like no where did you get the number from i'm like no it doesn't matter you know he's like no this thing of people trying to break us up i'm like which people are trying to break us up you are the one trying to break us up bro like that guy really had on timakula he had a really big heart because really you can't want two girlfriends and still have a side chick bro like how how does that even work <laughs> okay <laughs> guys like i'm laughing now because it's so sad thinking about it really okay um he comes and he's like no please don't text her she's my customer for my tutorial what 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 i'm like okay cool i actually didn't text her thank goodness i didn't text her and I think that was the time that I realized that in all the other previous goals, the moment I say I'm gonna text this person, he never really says don't text and what, he never begs me not to text the person. But with this particular girl, he begged me, literally begged me not to text her. And that's when I realized that he actually wanted to be with this girl. And I'm the type of person that loves very unconditionally, you know? I can love you from a distance it's fine you know so i decided you know what i'm gonna end this relationship here you can go on and be happy with a girl that makes you happy clearly i'm not that girl i thought i was that girl but clearly i'm not that girl so um you can go ahead and just be happy with her you know so i think that was the last 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 um encounter i really had with this guy about um the whole cheating things and stuff that's when i really decided you know what let me choose myself i deserve to be happy too you know but when all of that was happening to be honest i don't know what was going on in my head um the time that this guy and i completely broke up i remember it was in february just a few days after valentine's day um So, um, it was around Valentine, two days, three days after Valentine's Day. That's when I ended things with that person. And at the time, I was living alone. Um, my brother was in the north. My little sister was staying with a few friends, and my big sister was also away. So, at the time, I was alone in the room. And imagine having to deal with a heartbreak, and you are alone. Guys, I went, to, I went into depression like literally and nobody knew because i think i just have this thing of faking it you know i don't like making my problems other people's problems you know i went into depression to a point where i can't i, I wouldn't sleep like day and night i'm just awake 
and like I honestly didn't know I was ever gonna come out of that situation I was heartbroken guys I was honestly heartbroken that was my first heartbreak and hopefully my last one that was my first heartbreak and I really loved this person or at least I thought I did I really loved him and just for me to find out that I do all of these things for this person and he does this to me I think it was just really eating me up you know yeah just so you know guys now depression is real depression is real and sometimes the symptoms are there sometimes they take long to come sometimes you just want to be alone you just want to be in your room in the dark you don't want to eat you just you are just so withdrawn from the people around you you know and that is what i was going through it was really a sad time it was a very um terrible period in my life and i'm glad i went through it and i'm glad i overcame it i remember there was a time my sister came back my little sister came back home and i would we were sleeping on one bed but like i would cry i would be crying but like she obviously wouldn't see or notice cuz i'm i'm so silent you know cuz i don't want to get her up and worry her and stuff so imagine having to sleep for just for a few hours you wake up you think about it and then the tears just start rolling down your cheeks there was even a time i woke up like 3 a.m. and i'm calling this guy nonstop nonstop and i'm insulting this person and i regret it i really really regret it but i guess it was just the hurt you know i was just really really hurt i'm not going to cry cuz <laughs> guys this happened a while back but it's just said it's really really said when we women have to go to put up with this just because that is in a man's nature and i honestly don't believe cheating is in a man's nature cheating is a choice he made that choice to constantly be cheating on me you know if he wanted to stop he would have stopped but clearly he didn't want to stop which is why he still continued you know so really stop justifying the men a man cheating and one thing about men or one thing i have learned from that experience was that when a man cheats yeah, cheats once just know that he's not going to stop honestly it's going to be very very hard for him to stop but yeah i guess that is just life guys that is just life but yeah i'm really really glad that i went through that i overcame it but like if you are going through depression guys now please talk to someone talk to someone if you are not comfortable talking to someone close to you you can go to church talk to your pastor at least Your pastor doesn't know you, doesn't know where you are from. So, talk to your pastor, have a clean heart and just deal with it. Okay? If you are the type of person that deals with your emotions alone, then do that, you know? Cuz really mental health is so so important. It, and it's so sad that um men don't see that. You know when a man goes through depression, me yeah? everybody looks at the, at him as oh my word he won't manage oh my word how is he going to deal with it but when a girl goes through the same thing you are just told no you are strong you know you'll go through it you are strong depression doesn't matter whether you are a strong person physically or spiritually if your mind cannot handle too much then just know that you are not going to be able to deal with depression so please please talk to someone and yeah and honestly if someone had told me that i'm never going to find love again i honestly no if someone had told me that i'm still i'm going to find love again i probably would have told them you know what now nah, it's not going to happen man it's definitely not going to happen but here i am in a very healthy relationship 
where I am respected, my feelings are respected, where I am appreciated, and where the person makes me really feel like I am growing. You know, we are building each other up, and that is what a relationship is supposed to be like. You know, respect is supposed to be in a relationship, and security is supposed to be in a relationship. When you're in a relationship and someone constantly makes you feel insecure about yourself, either about your body or either about whatever. Just know that that person is not there to build you. That person is there to break you, to constantly step all over you. Because you, they, they know that you don't have that backbone to stand up for yourself. I'm just really, really glad that in the relationship where I am right now, I'm not going through any of that. I am a happy, happy, happy gone girl. Okay? So, yeah. So, that, now I understand why people sometimes say, Sometimes you have to go through the hardest things for you to learn from them. And I went through, I feel like that was the hardest, hardest, painful, most painful experience I ever had in my life. And that is one of the experiences that has taught me so, so much in life. You know, appreciate the people very close to you. Love wholeheartedly. Even though they are going to break your heart, still just love wholeheartedly. Because you can't make one person suffer because of the other person's mistakes. That is one thing that I have learned. So I hope, hope, hope you guys um, enjoyed this content. And this is the end of how I found out that I was a side chick. And some people really go for side chick. You become a side chick and then automatically... <laughs> <laughs> you become a side chick and then automatically you are upgraded to a main chick that happens sometimes but i decided girl you are not going to be one of those ones get out now and it doesn't matter how long it took me to say to choose myself just the fact that in the end i chose myself i am really really happy for that you know i'm really proud of myself for choosing myself because sometimes really you expect somebody to show you so much love but like you don't love yourself you don't appreciate yourself you constantly look down on yourself but you want somebody to treat you so much so so special you know and that is one thing i also realized in that relationship self-love is important self-love is important guys so yeah Mm. thank you so so much for watching please press that subscribe button share like comment do the most support your girl more content is coming up hopefully in my next videos i'll be showing my best friend my siblings you know talking about whatever either because really for me i'm i don't want to say an advocate but I, I, I feel like when it comes to mental health I just I, I feel like I, I, there's so much that Namibians need to be educated about when it comes to mental illness you know and it's so sad that people don't look at um, don't pay attention to mental health as much as they pay attention to other things you know and it's so sad that Namibians are not educated when it comes to mental health. The fact that Namibians still discriminate somebody suffering from mental illness, it's so sad to watch. It is so, so sad to watch. This is not something normal. This is a battle that somebody has to go through. And the fact that you, that is supposed to be his or her support system, is constantly looking down on that person how is that that person supposed to overcome their mental illness honestly so yeah definitely definitely going to be talking more on mental illness maybe doing some pranks maybe doing some uh, vacation thingies but yeah we'll definitely see what we have in stock for you guys thank you so much for watching till the end if you have watched till the end please press that like button comment share and yeah subscribe thank you so much have yourselves a great day ahead